I'm going to be discussing the outfits in Hogwarts Legacy, how this mechanic is going to work in the game, and what costumes have been shown so far. Also, make sure you stick around to the end where I'll be showing two items you can unlock right now before the game is even released. Hello and welcome back to another Hogwarts Legacy video. Before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. And if you felt so inclined, you could go ahead and follow me over on Instagram for even more magical content. All right, let's rewind all the way back to September 2020 and the incredible first teaser that was shown at the PlayStation event that had so many of us dying to play this game. During this trailer, we're shown two different and very iconic outfits, Quidditch robes and house robes. Let's start with the Quidditch robes. I expect that this will be something that will be accessible upon arriving at Hogwarts or possibly after flying is first unlocked as a travel mechanic. Avalanche has confirmed that Quidditch won't be playable in Hogwarts Legacy, and so it remains to be seen whether we'll see our characters sporting these robes in a match during a cutscene. Perhaps they were included just for vanity purposes? Either way, they're unique to any iteration we've seen in the past, and definitely a lot more subtle in color scheme than the ones worn in the movie series. Next are, of course, the famous house robes. I think Avalanche really nailed the design here, as house robes are easily the most recognizable outfit from the movies. They managed to keep them familiar while also adjusting them to a different time period, as well as a default Hogwarts style that we see the main character wearing before he's been officially sorted. Now, you might notice that in some of the clips I've shown, the robes look slightly different, so let's talk about that mechanic. Hogwarts Legacy allows us to customize our player's outfit piece by piece, so you're able to combine individual elements from a range of costumes. This will allow us to really fine tune the way we look in the game and allows for loads of different options. As shown in the Avalanche Autodesk video, the costume pieces we can change are hat, upper body, lower body, shoes, socks, robes, scarf, ring, gloves, mask, and glasses. Just looking at this wide array of options is so exciting for the amount of detail they put in, as well as the items we might be able to unlock. Will Harry's iconic glasses be available for our character? Or perhaps Marvolo's ring before it fell into the hands of Voldemort and became a horcrux? Let's be honest, having the resurrection ring equipped should definitely offer some in-game advantages. It also raises the question about in-game stats, and whether or not the items affect that. Perhaps the gear offers extra magical defense bonuses or boosts the attack power of a certain spell. Plus 100 to Expelliarmus for having Harry's glasses equipped. We also know that Hogwarts Legacy will feature different seasons, and so I'm curious to see if, like some games, the player will have to dress according to the weather to avoid some sort of stat drain. We see in the snowy sections of the gameplay that the character is wearing a scarf, although of course this could just be for aesthetic purposes. Either way, I think I'm going to be dressing lightly when dicing with dragons. The next thing I want to talk about are presets. Now, if you take a look at the outfit the character is wearing in the video here, it seems to be a less magical looking and casual muggle look, at least by Victorian standards. This outfit comes up a lot during various sections of gameplay. The player always seems to be wearing it during the parts of the game that don't take place in Hogwarts or the grounds. I'm curious to know if this means the game starts before our character even arrives at Hogwarts. We know that when we first see them during the sorting ceremony, they're wearing the plain Hogwarts robes I mentioned earlier, but when choosing our character's design, it looks as if they're wearing this muggle outfit. Perhaps the first few hours of the game are spent outside of arriving at Hogwarts. All right, let's take a look at the tailor. This is a shop in Hogsmeade where we'll be able to purchase various outfits and pieces of clothing. It seems as if the special outfits like house and Quidditch robes are given to the player in other manners or upon arriving at Hogwarts. So it's possible there will be a wide array of ways in game to obtain outfits other than at the tailor. Perhaps magical creature gear that's unlocked through taming or caring for certain beasts, hidden outfits found in secret locations inside the game, or even items in the tailor that aren't available until you've reached a certain level or skill requirement. On top of what's been shown throughout the previews of the game, there's also two outfits that are available depending on how you purchase the game. The Dark Arts cosmetic set and hat come as a digital extra you can redeem and use in-game for pre-ordering the Digital Deluxe Edition. And don't worry, that's not just the $300 somewhat controversial Collector's Edition, but also the Digital Deluxe version of the game, which is an extra $10 and also nets you the Thestral Mount and the ability to play the game 72 hours earlier than the standard release. 
I am so excited for that best roll. <laughs> the other outfit is a shopkeeper's cosmetic set, and unfortunately, this is gonna be exclusive to the PlayStation versions of the game, alongside the haunted Hogsmeade shop quest. I do want to note though that exclusive content like these two outfits does tend to be released later on as either part of a DLC bundle or alongside the full game in an ultimate edition that comes a while after the game's release. So if you're in love with either of these costumes but don't have the means to acquire them now, chances are you will not be locked out forever. The final costume I'm going to show you is the Fanatic School Robe and the Beaked Skull Mask. Both of these are obtainable right now to use in Hogwarts Legacy when it's available. So you're going to want to head over to the wizardingworld.com slash legacy connect, sign in or register for a Harry Potter fan club account, and then you'll be able to do an online sorting quiz. After answering a series of questions, the site will determine which house suits you best. You can also complete a quiz to determine your ideal wand. And after that, you'll be able to link this to a WB Games account. Once Hogwarts Legacy is released, simply log in with your Warner Brothers game account and you'll have the fanatic robes in your house's corresponding color, as well as the mask and the wand that was chosen for you. It's pretty cool. If you're interested in learning more about what's coming up at Hogwarts Legacy news, be sure to subscribe and check out more videos in this playlist. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!